Hello, I am Mike Cobb, Neil of Dice, and this is the Kibble Space Program. This is my Moon Orbiter, Moon Orbiter, which will hopefully, uh, at some point soon, anyway, be opening the Moon. At least one can, but one can but hope. Uh, that's my. I was. I don't know why, but I'm checking my. Uh, that's my debris, which will hopefully fall into uh, Kerbin's atmosphere and die. Uh, burr, but before I do it right, I've got a maneuver set up to get me to the Mun. Uh, but I'm not going to do it for just right now. What I'm. Well, I think. Well, I'm, I don't think I am. Um, let me check on me. Oh, no, I'm not doing this. I thought I had data still stored in this thing. But twould appear not. Uh, I don't have any data that's worth particularly grabbing. Nah. So let's not bother. Okay, so I was, was going to do a thing, but I'm not going to do that thing now. Uh, right, so we've got a maneuvery nodi set up. Which we'll point towards. Uh, we don't need precise node right this second because I have already done all the maneuvering noding things. So we have just under 50 seconds before the maneuver node. Quick speed up because I am impatient. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is going to be about a 50 second burn. And will send us off to the Mun. The one and only Mun. Well, they're not actually true because there's obviously the there's Minmus there. Uh, if I'm not careful, I'll go into an escape orbit, so I don't want to do that. I suppose it could have been very clever and come up with a, a free return orbit. But it didn't, so so there you go. Uh, coming up to... Time to turn off the rocket to... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, two, one. Off would help if I actually hit the off switch and not the complete different button. Uh, we are currently ramming the moon, uh, the moon. I don't mind that so much, actually. Uh, I should mind that, obviously. That should be a point of concern for me. But I actually want a whoa have we run out of electricity somehow no oh I'm warped why am I warped I don't want to be warped that could have been a problem wow sudden warpage Oh, oh, poot. Ah, no! Ah, that's what, was, that's what was going on there. Oh, okay. Uh... Nuts, that's very annoying. Anyway... Eesh. What I want is I want a polar... Uh, orbit. Of El Mun. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh man, hitting warp things when he didn't mean to warp is very bad. However, let's get rid of that. Uh, right. 
So this is a fairly, it's going to be obviously a very short burn. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this quite, try and do this quite fairly carefully. And I'll do it mostly by staring at this bit, this view of the MUN, uh, which will show me where I'm going, uh, where I'm going to end up, which is the important thing. All right, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. And then we shall ease ourselves gently in. Close enough. Right, so, um, things to do things to do. Uh, we hit the brakes to do lots of science, which is, so doing a temperature scan, uh, the intermediate observes in that, so that's an uh, atmospheric scan, uh, temperature scan, the measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible, and another atmospheric pressure scan. What? What? And we'll also get this. You can set how nice it is to be in the lab rather than in the badlands below you. Okay. Don't know why it's autism. Uh, okay. That could have been bad. Right. Oh, hitting buttons randomly and just mysteriously, that causes bad things. Right, uh, crew report. You are really our high as a kite, rocket man, maybe higher. Right, so, EVA. Take data, store experiments. We are beginning to drift, quite frankly, I'm not, this is a bit worrying. Uh, psh, Badlands, whatever, next they're going to uh, say Elu is a great giant snowball and lathe is popular with another race of couples. There you go. Um, oh, right. I left deliberately because things were getting a bit weird. There we go. I was just drifting randomly and like it just felt weird and wrong. So we'll collect some data and let go accidentally apparently. There we go. Remove data and restore. I might as well keep those bay doors open. Uh, have I done everything? Right, I've scienced all the science I can science because now I'm I'm high up. Um, I believe no. I think I think I can only do biomes in space low. Um, so I'm currently going over the desert in space high over covered. So it's not telling me anything about uh, going into the being over the badlands. So that's fine. So now what I want to do. Now I actually do want to do that warp. Warp to uh, the SOI change because then I want to do another bunch of science. I kind of wish I could go back to. Uh, I could I could change the um, action groups. Be actually quite handy to add now the. Science Junior, the Materials Bay, to right to about three minutes away from that. It'd be quite nice to, to add that to uh, the, the my little action group that I made. Uh, 
And I'm going to not time warp over the sphere of influence change. Shouldn't make any difference, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, I'm just going to edit this. Uh, I, th I was wondering if at any point the orbital thing, you could ask it, what am I orbiting around? Current SY, that's what I want. And so I could put that, say, up the top or something. And lots of things will click because it doesn't understand that I'm clicking a, uh, a user interface and not anything else. Can I just move it up to the top? That would be, no. That would be convenient. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh. That's completely useless, as it turns out. Um... Okay. Okay, that's fine. Slightly aggravating, but fine. I am over the moon. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. B. Mystery goo. You very briefly consider filling one of those canyons with goo. Atmospheric pressure. The instrument reads zero. It's almost as if it was in a vacuum. Measuring the temperature of space seems to be quite impossible. I thought I'd crowdsource science. I thought lots of different things today. Uh, oh, I seem to have repeated everything. That's mm, interesting. And we'll do a materials bay one. Your lab port is strategically written to convince the KSC to let you land on the moon. Which I'm not going to do because I have no landing legs. Uh, oh wait, crew report. From this high up, the canyons look like scars across the Mun's face, which is appropriate considering how much the Mun has survived millennia after millennia. EDA. Take data. Door experience. EVA report. Say those moony cannons down below, they sure are impressive. Nothing like Kerbins, of course. And they'll uh, climb a climb. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. Collect data. Remove, restore. And then grab temperature. And then, oh, what's that? Temperature scale. Oh, did, oh did, hang on. We've done something weird. Take data. Have I accidentally done that twice? That's not a problem, like, I guess. It would just it would just tell me not to. I'll just dump the extra, so that's fine. And we'll restore. And up we go. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Uh, right, now we're going to start thinking about not uh, leaving the moon's sphere of influence. So let's plonk on a periapsis. Uh, hang on, what have I done? I confused myself. There we go. And we will be going backwards, I suspect. There we go. I should probably, I should, I'm thinking about, where's my pairing now? That's going to be 133, so let's, let's be a bit more circular. Oh, there we go. Um, one of the, one of my KOS scripts, when I was scripting everything, one of my favorite KOS scripts was uh, Circularize. It would work out. Um, you could tell it to circularize from the apoapsis or from the periapsis, and it would meet. You would actually come up with the correct uh, maneuver, which I thought was quite clever. Now this orbital inclination isn't quite ninety degrees. 
Not that it matters too much, uh, actually. So I'm not actually going to bother worrying about it. Okay, that's going to be in an hour, or slightly more accurately, as just as soon as I finish time warping to it. There is my failed Moon satellite, which ran out of power because I hadn't invented solar panels yet. I wonder if I could catch up and fix it. Okie dokie, pick a pokey. That was stupid. But I think I caught it in time. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Eccentricity 0.00068. That's quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. Now, here is a question. Am I in high or am I low? Now, do you get that? I, I, want, I want the body that I'm around. Uh, I'm in space high, it actually says there. So, um... Right, what, what do I want to do? I want to hit this button. Um, so really what I want to do at this stage is I want to um, kind of time warp around until I get to a new biome. Uh, Yes. Oh no, no I don't. It it do. Ah, mm, ah. That's that's EVA. In space high. Ah. So my EVAs don't count if I'm in space high. I want to be somewhere else. How much delta V have I got? Mm. Do I have enough delta V to get closer and then get back is a question that I ask myself. Hmm. No, I want to go this way if I'm going to go anywhere. I think the answer to that may be no, I do not. This might be a bit close. Right. Okay, let's back out a little bit. Yeah, let's go there. No, let's go there. So, obviously, the intention was uh, to go around and around and around and around the moon. But... Um, I don't have any experiments at the moment that react to... Um, the biomes of the moon high over. Um, and this is actually, I think, partly because I balked my... Um, I hit. I, I hit at one point. I, I just hit a I hit a key, and I, I, I started. I turned my rocket on. Oh well. So we're going to have to. I think we're just going to get have to go straight back with not quite as much science as I would have liked, but never mind. Thank you very much for watching. Do hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Come visit me at dice dot com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, and you can find links to that in the video description. Until next time, reach for the stars.